Question number 45 for Linear Relations EQAO Practice Questions for Grade 9 Applied. And this one's titled Weather Balloon. A weather balloon is falling back to the surface of the Earth. We're told after 10 minutes it is at a height of 425 meters. After 40 minutes it's at a height of 200 meters above the ground. So you're asked to determine the rate in meters per minute at which the balloon is falling. And it says uh, you're supposed to show your work and you can use the grid below if you wish. So I'm going to start with the grid and show you how to do this with the grid and without the grid, although they're very, very similar. So if you plot the information, at 10 minutes it's a height of 425. So every block here is 50 meters. That's 50, 100, 150, 200. So this would be 400, that would be 450. So if I want to plot 425, I should be halfway between the 400 and the 450. So that's where that dot comes in above the 10 minutes. After 40 minutes, it's down to 200. So 40 minutes, it's at a height of 200. So hence the second dot here. So I join them together. We're trying to find the rate of change between those two points. So to go from 425 down to 200, we could take our calculator. And now remember, you always type in the second number first. So 200 minus 425. So that tells me it's gone down 225 meters. If you do 425 minus 200, it's okay to do that if you remember what you're doing here, but it's not gone up 225 meters, it's gone down. That's why you should type in the 200, the, the second number first, because it'll actually show you the change. Uh, if you do this calculation and you're not thinking what you're doing, you might think it's going up 225 meters when it's actually falling. So that's why you should do the 200 first. Now, from 10 minutes to 40 minutes, that's 30 minutes, so the run is 30. So this negative 225 is the rise, the 30 minutes is the run. So this is what the uh, rate calculation looks like. Rate is rise over run. So the, uh, the rise is negative 225, uh, and the run is meters, and the run is the 30 minutes. And so if we take negative 225 divided by the 30 minutes, so there's the negative 7.5. And the units would be meters per minute because this was a meter amount on top and the time is minutes in the bottom, so it's meters per minute. Now you don't have to use the grid. You could simply say, uh, up here, yeah. so it's gone from 425 down to 200. So the rise is 200 minus 425, which is negative 225. So it's the same calculation you did over here. Uh, it went from 10 minutes to 40 minutes, so the time has gone by in by 30 minutes. So again, we're dividing negative 225 by 30. So the rate is negative 7.5 meters per minute that it's falling. 